everyone, it's Mike and Raven, and we're about to do the PvP match of Marvel Zombie Side. Yeah. And I got Cyclops, Green Goblin, and Doctor Doom. And I have Lizard, Psylocke, and Doctor Octopus. So it's the heroes versus the villains on this. You take three for each for this one. Yeah. And I have the zombies. And I got the heroes. And then I'll tell you how the rules work. But Raven's just going to read the story. Yep. It's called sure. Rumble in the Park. Okay. It has been rumored that in the chaos of the zombie outbreak, an infinity stone has been lost somewhere in Central Park. Both the superheroes and zombie heroes could make good use of this precious item to either halt the zombies or devour even more. Control of Central Park is of the utmost importance, so the dominating team can have time to search for the stone unperturbed. And there's no special rules or anything for this one? Not that it says on the page. Nope. So I'll tell you how the rules go in the setup too. So we have the dice box, the taxi over here on this side. It is works for dice. Just Raven's gonna show. So because it's kind of noisy, we won't use it in game. We'll use our actual box. But yeah, and then it's cool. it comes apart too. Do you want to take the top off? And then that part comes off. And then that comes. That's off the taxi too. there. So we'll leave that so we can see past the. And then that one comes off too, the part for the... Yeah, it's very cool. Same with the other ones too, they come off to the roofs and Khaleesi decorates inside of them too. Yeah. So for the PvP rules on page 4 and 5, it tells you how to set it up. I've already done all the setup and where everything goes too. Uh, they tell you to take things out of the deck too, so I have them over on the side there. So all those cards over there, you have to take out like all the special cards and the extra activations, all the superheroes, because superheroes or villains don't come out. Right. So you take out like sidearm and hidden bystander and escorted bystander. It's just spawn cards and the rush cards are in the spawn decks. Okay. And because we use your spawn deck and my spawn deck too. And then your traits and my traits too. Yeah. yeah. And then the zombies get special cards and the heroes get special cards. Same cards, I think, but just... Zombie and not and that, zombie. Yeah, and you get XP for using them. Cool. So at the very start, after you do some of the setups, I'm gonna be at five here. Uh, team decks. Each team draws two cards and keeps them face down next to each other. So I'll grab two, and you want to grab two, and I won't see your ones. So uh, those are the hero ones. You yeah, get I'm gonna give you two, and then give me two. Okay. So one, two for you, and the one. Okay. So those are the ones I got. And then each person on your team can only use one of them a turn. Okay. And you pick up two at the end phase, too. Okay. So you can store them, too, but you can only use one. Each time you activate a hero, they can only use one card. Okay. And you get free XP for using it. So those are my ones. So, and these are mine. So on this one, there's team bases. So the zombies ones, the green ones, that's your base. Yeah. So you can decide where you put your team in those two spots at the start. Okay. And my one's at the back of the blue one. That's my base, so I can decide where I put my heroes in okay. there, too. Cool. The bystanders already are shown, so we've already done those before, so they're already on the map, too. Cool. And the attacking ones don't attack, even if they were attacking ones. They're okay. just there to either devour or rescue. Good to know. So you put Doc Ock and Lizard there and Psylocke there on your base? Yep. I got Cyclops there, and then Doctor Doom and... Green Goblin are over there. Cool. Also, everyone has free life in this. So the heroes have free, so do the zombies. So they don't start with five. They can only have free life in this one. Okay. So yours is already set up free for your team. Yep. So we flip the Avengers token, and if it lands on the intact side, uh, the living team gets to go first. Or if it goes on the damage side, the zombie team goes. So you want to flip it? Okay. Okay. That's the damage side, so your team gets to go first. All right. And then... Uh, there's spawns actually on the map when you start, too, so we'll put those on, too. Okay. So this is, like, the first player token, so you keep that. Okay. And then it goes, you activate one, I activate one, you activate one. It goes back and forth. Okay. So that's the map set up with the spawns, so your team and my team. Yeah. So the spawns can't attack heroes in this one. They're just used for moving to get to the back line of the opponent. Okay. Kind of like trying to get, like, a touchdown or capture the flag, is it? Right. If the spawns move into your back line, you get a point for each model that gets to the back line. Okay. So the heroes, you want to try to stop the runners, brutes, walkers. You want them to stop from getting to your back line into your base. Okay. Because you get a point that way. Right. You also get three points 
for whoever is controlling the objectives. If you have the same, you're both contesting, you both get three points. Okay. If one has more models there, the other person gets the points, and it's free for each objective. Okay. And you also get three points for killing another hero or villain, zombie. So if you kill another hero, you get three, get three points for that too. Okay. Uh, the hero that kills another hero gets five XP. Everything else is still the same. The spawns are worth one XP. It's, you don't get XP for the bystanders, but you get their card. Right. So I put my cards for the same bystanders on this side, and you have yours on that side. Yeah. So whoever gets them first gets the benefit from them. Okay. And then like the hero mode, you can discard your bystander to negate a wound. But you don't get the the disadvantage of lost bystander in this one. You just negate a wound. Okay. All the rules from each book is the same, so zombies still have ravenous. If they get to it or not, you have to bring up your power each turn for the heroes. Okay. So we'll go through them when we're playing a bit too. Okay. Uh, what are the rules at the start? Uh, there's a player phase, a minion phase, a scoring phase, a spawn phase, and then an end phase okay. in this one. Because then in the spawn phase, I would spawn on my blue spawner, and then each spawn I spawn on each one first. Okay. You start at the blue one, and then each spawner you spawn from. Yeah. Same with yours. You would spawn first on the green one, and then spawn on each red spawner, even the ones that are over there. Okay. That's how I read it, I think. I'm going to double check. And also in the spawn phase, you spawn one walker on your base, too. Okay. So in that, well, when we get to it, I'll show. Same with mine back there. Okay. And then if you, it's better to get the higher XP in this one, because then when you spawn your minions to move forward, you'll get more spawns on each one. Okay. So you would get to go first. I think that covers most of, as I said, when we're playing, we'll go through some of the rules if they haven't come up yet. Okay. Oh, and it goes, you pick a guy to activate, and then I pick. We go back and forth until all our team is done. You mentioned that. Too. Yeah, and then it's the minion phase. Okay. Okay, so you can go first. All right. Oh, and I didn't mention another one, because I played the test for two rounds. If you knock out a hero, they go right back, and you can pick which base they go to. Okay. They lose any traits and any power or hunger or anything they have. Okay. And if they haven't activated yet, they can still activate. Okay. But if okay. they have activated this round, then they're... they're still done. It does go back. Okay. There is also a mode, I don't know if we'll play it this time, we'll see, that uh, uh, if you kill a hero or zombie, they don't come back and they're dead. And you can pick from another one from your pool of zombies. So when they're oh, dead, they're yeah. permadeath. Okay. And you can just play through your roster maybe. Okay. Yeah, we'll try it. Maybe when we get used to it, we'll try that later. Yeah, and then we have more guys painted. We can go through and see who's the last standing. Yep, sounds good. Okay, so you will get to activate one member on your team first. Okay. So I'm going to activate Psylocke first. Her, her hunger goes up to one. Uh, she's going to move into the zone with... Ooh. Yeah, we might just take them off if they're going to keep sliding keep up. Those with that. Senator Kelly. Okay. And then she's, for her second activation, she's going to try to devour Senator Kelly. Oh, that's, I forgot about that rule, too. You automatically devour people in this. You don't have to roll to hit them. Oh, cool. Okay. So for her second activation, she's going to devour Senator Kelly. Okay. And I'm going to double check that. I think it's only the bystanders. Yeah, because that wouldn't make sense for the other people. The bystanders, you automatically get to devour them. Okay. Other people you still have to roll for. Yeah. So then your hunger will go down to zero. And you get Kelly. So what's he do? Because it's different from mine. Uh, once during your turn, you may increase hunger to select one zone within range two. Activate all enemies in that zone. They try to reach your zone by any means possible. Oh, that will come in handy because you can taunt them away from the objectives then. Yep. Cool. So, yeah, and you can even do it if there's enemies in your zone in this one, if you want to rescue or devour a bystander. Cool. Okay. So you automatically get Kelly. Cool. So for her last thing, I'm not thinking it's probably a good idea to go out on the street. Well, you, the member of the spawns can't hit you. The only person that can hit you is me, my hero. Okay, right, okay. Because so, the heroes, the the spawns can't do any damage to you. There is cards, the the random play cards you can play on your turn that you can manipulate minions to hit people and stuff. Okay. But directly, no, their, their motivation is to move to the line. Okay. To get you points. Okay. So, yeah, that's something to check too, because I don't know your cards. I didn't look at them. Check your cards too if there's something you can do. No, it, not not at the moment. Okay. But we'll see. So for her last activation, Psylocke will move. I just take the marker off. We know who Psylocke is. Out the street. Oh, and that's another... The, the doors already come open, and there's no spawns in this. So the exclamation marks, you don't spawn in buildings in this one. Okay, okay. 
Okay. So that's Psylocke's go. Okay, so it goes over to me. So I'm going to activate Cyclops. His power goes up to one. And his blue ability is when you attack with Optic Blast, you may spend one power to gain one range and ignore target priority. Nice. So it's already zero to one, so I can make it zero to two. So I could hit you now if I really wanted to. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try that, actually. Okay. So. Oh, because there's still rules. Rules coming to apply for targeting, and he doesn't have home defender or anything. I can only, sh I can't shoot the building so i'm going to spend one activation to move up forward one i was going to go there anyway i'm going to spend my second activation to shoot i don't even have to use my power now because i have two more activations i'm going to power up for my second activation okay and then i'm going to shoot optic blast at psylocke okay so i'm going to use three dice for attacking and then two for optic blast and that hits on a free. Okay. And that's it. So doesn't worry about hunger. To wound, I didn't bring that up, but now each hero's hit point is worth two toughness. Okay. So you have to score two hits to do one wound to a hero. Okay. They're like a guard, basically. Right. So that scored me. I hit on freeze. I didn't do another free, unfortunately. So I do one damage to you. Okay. And that's Cyclops' turn. I'm going to activate Doc Ock now. Okay, where is Doc Ock? He's over here. Okay. So. Hunger goes up. Now what's his blue ability, Doc Ock? Uh, it's called Undead Intellect. Once, once during your turn, you or another zombie hero within range two may draw one zombie trait. Cool. So I'm going to do that first. And you're going to do it for him? or Yeah, for... I'm going to do it for Doc Ock. Okay. Just in case he hits something useful. Resist hunger. Discard during your turn. Decrease hunger by one. Cool. Oh, and the ambush cards are out of there, too. I don't know if it's, when I talked about the cards over there, the ambush are out, too. Right. So. He is going to move up to where the minions are. Okay. So which minion side are you going there? These ones. Okay. So it would be one... Okay. Two. And then three. So right now you're winning the objective because you have two uh, heroes aren't worth more points or anything. Yeah. So right now you have three models there and I have two. So you're winning that objective right now. Okay. So maybe I don't want to use that because I don't want to move them. Okay. I'm good. He's done. Yeah. And you got to remember too, I remember that when I, I played the two rounds in the test. Before, I got to check, the minions move before the scoring phase. So... Even though those minions are there now and we're contesting, you got to keep in mind they're going to move forward in the minion phase. Okay. So then maybe I will use... And I'm going to double check that, though. Give me one sec. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know if it's come up yet, too, but you can only use your skills that they have on their card once per activation. So like Wolverine's, that one comes to mind because we did that before, like his ability to roll sixes. You can only do that ability once okay. per turn. That's you can't attack and then attack again and do the same ability per turn. Right, that makes sense. So knowing that now, Doc Oct is going to use my zombie team card. Okay. That says, activate all friendly minions in your zone. Okay. So they're going to activate and move forward. So they'll move up into the spawn where the guard is? Yes. Okay. And you get free XP for that too. Cool. Is that a... He gets it or everybody gets it? Uh, nope. He gets it. Okay. Yeah. That's good. So in the minion phase, those if I don't kill those two minions, they're going to move to the edge of the board and you'll get two points from them. Yeah. And you're also... Oh, no. I'm still winning that objective because I have two there. Yep. Okay. Uh, and he's done? Yep. And to keep track, you have another scoreboard. Every time you get points for your objectives or minions going off the board or killing the hero, you mark it on this board. And when it gets to 43, you win. Okay. So I'm going to activate Dr. Doom. Okay. Power goes up by one. He's going to move over to that little corner spot zone. For a second activation, I'm going to, because he has range, zero to one. Yeah. I'm going to shoot at those walkers coming towards me. I don't want you to get points for those. Okay. So he gets two dice. 
and one force power I'm going to use. And it hits on freeze. Zero to one. And his blue is each time you eliminate a zombie hero, draw a heroic trait. Once during your turn, you may discard a heroic trait to gain two power. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to attack those two walkers. It's on freeze. Nice. So those two are dead and I get two XP. So I'm going to play a card for Dr. Doom. You and another superhero within range two each gain two power. So Dr. Doom will get free XP and then I'm going to give two power to Green Goblin too. Because yeah, Green Goblin's two away. Yeah. So, and then Doctor Doom's done. So okay. you have one more activation with Lizard, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna activate Lizard now. He's hunger is gonna go up to one. His blue ability is once during your turn you may perform one free devour attack. This attack rolls only one die. No bonus is possible. Scoring a number of hits equal to your hunger level if successful. Cool. Which is kind of neat. Yeah. So. He's going to move up to that middle objective. So, one, two, three. And then he's done. Cool. And that doesn't come up to the blue objective on my side and the green objective on your side. If the opposing, that's kind of like the flag and capture the flag. If I get my team on your green one, I can spend an action, and then all my minions get a free activation. Oh, cool. Okay. Same with you. If you get to my blue one, and you spend an activation on the blue one, all your minions get a free activation. Yeah. Cool. So I didn't get to... I think I was at yellow level when I did the test up to round two. Once you get to a lot more minions on the board, it gets a little more crazy. Yeah. And that's your team. So I have Green Goblin to go. So I'm going to activate Green Goblin. His power is at three now. Okay. And I'm going to spend, his blue is once during your turn, you may spend one power when moving to move one zone, ignoring enemies. Okay. But I'm going to spend one, two, three. It takes me three activations to get where Lizard is. Yeah. So I'm going to spend one of my powers so then it doesn't take me as much activation. So I have one left. Okay. So I'm going to move into the zone where Lizard is. One, two, So now we're contesting that zone. Okay. I don't want you to get free points. I was tempted to attack Lizard, but I want to get those free points for holding the objective because I don't think I can do six hits to kill him because you need to score two each, right? Right. So I'm going to spend... Oh, that's another thing that comes up. You have to... There's no target priority in this one. Mm -hmm. Unless you attack the, the spawns, the zombies or the enemies... It's still the same target priority, like brutes, walkers, runners. Right. But if there's two in there like this, the hero or the walkers, yeah. you can pick who you want to attack. Okay. If there's carryover, it doesn't carry over to the other uh, target. Okay. So if I attack Lizard and do four hits, I can't put two on Lizard and two on the walkers. You have to say who you're going to hit. Okay. So if I hit the walkers and do six hits, I can't carry it over to the hero. All right. That makes sense. So Pumpkin Bomb hits on fours and I get three dice. Uh, I'm going to use my two my, I want to get the mouse back I'm going to use two more power all my power Okay. and I'm going to roll five dice and try to kill those two walkers okay so gets on fours nice so I got him so there was three hits I couldn't carry any thing over to Green Goblin because right. I picked the walkers so it's only on the walkers yep so that's my team so everyone's just activated now. Yeah. So now we go to the next phase. Okay. So there's no turn. You, my guys go and your guys go. There's no back and forth. It's just whoever gets, we're just basically seeing if anyone gets to the, to the opposite end. Okay. So all spawns, so your spawns and mine would move towards the quickest pass to get to the back edge of the board. Okay. Your zone. So we'll move everybody up. And if anyone gets to the edge of the map, we'll score points for them. Okay. And then we'll do spawning. Okay. So we'll move everyone up first. So everybody's moved up, getting closer to the line. No one crossed over the line yet? No. Nope. Because we don't have runners yet too, so you got to watch those because they'll move too. Right. So now it's the scoring phase. Turn, teams determine who controls each red objective and scores victory points according to the scoring rules. 
So we'll look at the red objectives now. We'll start with Doc Ox 1. So how many of your guys are there? Uh, I have a Brute and Doc Ox. Okay, and I only have a Brute there, right? Yes. So you won that one. So you get three points, and you would put three points on that marker, yeah? So you already have three points. Okay. The middle one, I have Green Goblin and a Brute, and you have Lizard and a Brute, right? So yep. we have the same. So we're both contesting it, so we both get three points. Cool. So you're already at six, so you're beating me? Yes. And then over here, I have one Brute. Yep. Oh, no, I have one Guard and you have one Brute. Yeah. So same, we both get three points. So in the scoring phase now, you have nine points, and I have six, so you're winning. Yeah. And now it's the spawn phase. So at the start of the spawn phase, you put one walker or trooper on your base, on each base marker. So one there, one there, and I got one in the back there, and one there. Yeah. And now we do spawning off the actual spawn zones. Okay. So we'll do your team first. So there's a lot, because there's six, but you start at the green one. So you start there, and work your way down. You don't that wasn't clear when I looked at the rules, and I didn't do that when I did the test. Because that's my blue spawner, you don't spawn from that one. Because it says you do the green one, then proceed to the red ones. So I don't think you spawn from the other team's spawner. Okay. So you don't spawn on the blue one, and I don't spawn on the green one. Ah, okay. On okay. your one, like right now you yeah. do green and the other four. We do four. mine and then around and then... I do mine and then around. Yeah. Right? So let's do your first green one. Okay. It's confusing because, yeah, so you would draw from the... Because I'm spawning my zombies, yes. so I draw from that The one. zombie deck, yeah. Okay. Confuse me for a second. So there is rushes in there, and you go off the highest level, not the level of XP, because you're already in yellow XP for your team. Yeah. It's from your hero that you go off of, the highest hero. Okay. So Which is still in blue. So you get free rush there. Okay, we're not going to, because filming would be each one if we do it. We'll just draw each one then. So they would rush forward. Yeah. Another thing I noticed too, oh, because it says you follow the rules from each book, so then that would come into play there. I didn't see anything about if you run out of zombies, but if you're following the rules from each book, if you run out of zombies, everyone gets another activation. Yes. So I guess that's how that works, if we run out of zombies. That makes sense. Okay. So from the next red. There's some runners. Okay. One. And then from that one over there, six, okay. And now we'll do that red by Dr. Doom over there. More runners. And then your last one in the center of the street there. A rush. So we'll grab yours and then we'll do my one. So you spawned, uh, your spawns up, some moved up, you know, more on the board now. Yeah. And you're lucky you got a rush on that spawn, so those two would activate and then rush and go off into the zone and you get two more points. Cool. So when they get to the back of the board, they come off the table and you get points for them. All right. So those zombies are gone and you get two more points. So you were at, what, nine? Yeah, so now I'm at 11. Nice. And I'm at six, so you're winning. So now I'll do my spawn. So from the blue over there. Blue deck, blue spawn. Makes sense. Yeah. So you got two troopers. And they rush too. Yep. Oh, I wanted that at the back. <laughs> like you got it. Okay. Then that's why you have to do it in specific order, right? Depending where they lay. Right. Okay. So in the middle of the street. I got another rush. Okay. And then over there by Dr. Doom. Runners. Okay. Runners are dangerous on this, too, because they can get to the back line fast. Yeah. And then not from the green spawn, so we'll start back over here. Is there is there a spawn in that zone yet? Under the five oh, walkers? No. The five walkers. Oh, I see. Now, yeah, because the objective is that one, and that's spawn there. It's confusing. Okay, so under the five walkers. Four. Two, okay. And then that zone right there. That's the one I want to rush. Come on, rush. Oh, and it's four. Nice. So we'll put those on the board, and then I'll score my points for them rushing off the board. Yep. So having those four rushing come off the board helped. So it caught me up a bit. So I'm at 10, and you're at 11. Yep. So you're still winning. And it's my turn now because you went first. 
The first turn. Yes. So at the end round, it says each team draws two more team cards, and the vengeance symbol passes to the other team, and a new round begins. There's no round count. Maybe if you're house ruling or you only play to a certain round if you want a time limit or something, but it's supposed to go up to whoever gets to 43 first. Okay. Unless the rules, one of the missions says something different, right? Yeah. Well, a question about drawing cards, too. If we still have one left from... You can bank them. We keep them? Yeah. Okay. There's no limit. I didn't see that there's a limit of how many cards you get. Team cards. So both teams start with two team cards, with two extra being drawn each end phase. Team cards belong to the whole team. They're kept face down, hidden. Each hero can only use one team card during their turn. Okay. And then the team card gives free XP to whoever uses it. Oh, and that comes up to zombie heroes may use team cards even while ravenous. Okay, cool. Okay. So it'll be... Oh, let's pick up your team cards. So I'll draw my two. One. I'll show you what I got. And then two. you want to draw your two? One. Two. Okay, let's see what I got. So that's what I have now. And that's what I have now. So I'm going to activate Cyclops. All right. Power goes up by one. So you and another superhero was in range two, each gain two power. So Cyclops is going to do that. And I'm going to give two power to Green Goblin. Okay. Because he's two away. So I haven't done any activations yet. The first thing he's going to do is attack Psylocke. All right. I'm going to use, I don't have to use Focus Shot because you're one away from it. I'm going to use three power plus two dice for my attack. It's on threes. Uh, I have no rerolls on this thing. Nope. I got one hit. So she takes one damage. For my second action, I'm going to power up. All right. And for my third action, I'm going to use my two power plus my two dice for attacking to attack Psylocke again. Okay. Hitting now on freeze. Come on. Oh, she's lucky. <laughs> so, didn't do anything. So he's done. So, I'm going to activate Psylocke now. Her, uh, her hunger goes up to one. And her blue ability is once during your turn, you may automatically eliminate one trooper or specialist within range one. Oh, so you can kill some troopers next to you too? So that's the first thing I'm going to do is kill one of the troopers in the zone to my right. Where the subway is over here? Yeah. So you get XP for that. And you have Kelly too that he can do stuff too, right? Yes. Uh, but before I do anything with Kelly, I'm going to use Satiate. What's that do? Which is a card that restores my health to three. Oh, okay. That's a, I didn't know you had that. Yep. So her health is going to go back up to three. And yeah, I'm and gonna... you don't go up to five, too. You, the most right. you can get is three. Right. So, and they even say heroes like Groot or uh, the ones that have more than a certain amount of hit points, because Groot has five hit points as a hero, yes. they still go to three, even though they have more. Okay. So the heroes also go down to three. Okay. So her, her she gets three XP for doing Yeah, for magic, doing the card. Right? She hasn't even done an activation yet. No? And Kelly lets you taunt people or something, right? Yeah. What's it say on this card? Uh, during your turn, you may increase hunger to select one zone within range two. Activate all enemies in that zone. They try to reach your zone by any means possible. Ooh. And does she have... Is her attacks ranged or melee? Uh, she's melee. Oh, okay. You could taunt... Oh, okay. I don't know what you're... That will come in handy, too, if you want to pull people off objectives and other stuff, too. Yes. That's what I was wondering. But if I pull them but back, if I, I'm going to pull them uh, onto I'm the objective. Check you, I'm just checking the... Yeah, so when you eliminate anybody, their traits and bystander go. So if I were to kill Psylocke, you would have lost Kelly, too. Yeah. And Kelly doesn't drop or anything. You just lose them, and then he's gone. Right. I'm going to move into the zone by the subway for my first activation and for my second activation i'm going to attack that zone okay so she has two dice for psionic blade one dice for her hunger and it hits on threes okay no oh, hunger goes up too yeah to two and you don't get any rerolls or anything, no? Nope. And there's a guard there, so you have to do two damage to get that guard first, because target priority goes for those guys, right? Yes. Okay. So for her last activation, she's going to attack again. Add one more dice. Two. 
It's, it's on, on what? threes. So you kill a guard and one trooper. Awesome. Nice. Ah, uh, so you're at six eight P? Yeah. Six P. But now you have two there and I have zero. So that's... And now that's her turn. Okay. So I'm gonna plan to go to your green objective. So if I spend an activation on that, I can activate I can choose between my guards, troopers, or runners to pick them and they all get a free activation. Okay. It's not cool. everybody, it's just one. Yeah, one specific type. Yeah. Uh, and you also figured out that you can, like the, you follow the rules, I can't move out of a zone if there's guys in there, I have to spend an extra activation. Right. So you're an enemy, so I'd have to spend one to get past the blizzard, one to get past the brute, and three to get to the next zone. Yeah. But I'm going to use his goblin glider blue ability, and I spend one power when moving to move plus one zone, ignoring enemies. Okay. So once during your turn, you may spend one power to move. Yeah, to move one plus zone, ignoring enemies. Okay, so I'm down to one power. All right. And he's going to move one zone, plus one zone, because I can move two, and I ignore enemies for each one. So I ignore this enemy and this enemy, because I'm gliding, and I go here. So that was his first activation. For his second activation, I'm going to... Activate the green spawner. Okay. So now I'm going to choose my troopers. Oh, okay. so all troopers get to go forward. Okay. So we'll go, oh, that's really bad for you. Yep. Okay. So because I don't know if you can see because you have the camera now, this whole line is going to go forward. Can you see these guys here too? Yep. Yep. So having a scout like Green Goblin comes in handy in this too. Yep. Next time I think we'll do it. We did. We'll do like how we did two point oh. If maybe we'll do a draft and do a random selection of people. Yeah. I just picked people that we had painted too. Cool. Anyone? Sounds good. Okay, so there would be two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. Ooh. And then I'll move the other ones too. Ooh. So I'll do the line back here first. Okay. And you can only do that once. You can't spam hitting it. That'd be crazy. It would be. But I am now at twenty points, and you're at eleven. Yep. Okay, so yeah, getting that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I have, I moved with my glider. That, I have one more thing I can do. So I'm just going to stay here because I'm, these are my turns now. I'm just going to use Green Goblin to move stuff forward. So I'm going to spend my next activation to get in there and attack that walker. All right. So I get three dice for pumpkin bombs. I'm going to save the power because I'm hopefully getting a four here. Yep, so I get that walker. So that was a good turn for Green Goblin. Yeah, it was. And now I'm going to force you to come back to me, or I'm going to keep moving stuff forward. <laughs> yep. So I think maybe it have one person stay back, one middle, and one end, maybe? I don't know if that will work. I think Depends on your makeup of your team. Yep. So I'm going to activate Lizard. His hunger goes up to two. And you can still get damage from Ravenous in this, because you follow the rule book rules, right? Yep. So... Keep in mind, you might have to devour some people unless you want to get wounded. Yes. Well, that's exactly what Lizard's going to do. Because his blue ability, once during your turn, you may perform one free devour attack. This attack rolls only one die. No bonus is possible. Scoring a number of hits equal to your hunger level if successful. So your hunger is what? Two. Okay. So if so you hit... If I roll a four, I do two damage so it will kill one guard. Okay. So, four, hopefully. Cool. Nice. And your hunger goes down to zero and you get XP too. He's going to attack again. So this is first activation, right? Yes. With fangs and claws. So it's three dice hits on fours. Nothing. Boo. I was going to say, you can power up, but no, you're not a hero. You can't power up. Nope. Okay. So he's going to do that one more time. Okay. Nope. nope. And you got one more activation? Because you got a free attack with. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Nope. Oh, and, and you then got... hunger goes up two. So one, two. You had no cards you had to use or anything? No. Okay. So he's done? Yep. Yeah. I can't. Can I, if I zoom even on the camera, I don't think I can see your cards. I don't know what to say. Nope. Okay. So it's over to me. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's going to be my game plan. Cyclops will be on one side, Doom on the other, and Green Goblin there. Triangle yeah. offense type of thing. Okay. Yeah. So. Did I? No, power hasn't gone up. So his power is at three. Okay. Each time you eliminate zombie hero. No. I don't like that runner there. So I'm going to spend... Am I going to spend any power? No, two dice hitting on threes. Yeah, I might as well spend a power. I'll spend one power. I get one extra dice. So it's three dice hitting on threes, and I'm going to attack that runner in my zone. Okay. <laughs> I rolled all twos. Okay. That's hysterical. That was not the plan? Nope. So let's do this again. Same thing. Spend the power so I'm at one. I right. roll three dice. All the twos. No, don't get more twos, please. Come on. There we go. Opposite. All right. So that run is done. So I'm going to activate. Oh, he sure is activated. I got one more activation. I am going to move up one zone to where the guard and the runner is. Okay. So yeah, those back zones, because of the trees are hard, but the runner's in a separate zone than the guard. I moved up, so I'm with Dr. Rock and the other ones now. Okay. So. Hmm. I have my card that I might want to play, but then... I want to contest that. So no. I was going to move some minions, but I want to keep them there to contest that. But they're going to move anyway in the phase. So yeah, I'm going to play at the end of his turn. I'm going to do go, go, go. Oh, activate all friendly minions in your zone. Okay. So I'm going to move them forward and get free XP. Okay. So that free XP did put him to yellow, so now I have another activation. Okay. Because he's at nine. And then I'll move the minions in my zone and they'll activate. Okay. So, for my extra, extra activation, I'm going to attack that zone, try to get rid of the guard. Okay. So, I'm going to spend the power, and I'll have three dice hitting on threes. Nice. So, I have two, so I got the guard. So, now Dr. Doom's done. Okay. And it's over to your team. All right, I'm going to activate Dr. Octopus. His hunger goes up to two. He's going to use his blue ability. Once during your turn, you or another zombie hero within range two may draw one zombie trait. So he's going to do that. Who's going to draw the zombie trait? Uh, Dr. Octopus is, because nobody else is close enough to him, I don't think. Okay. He'll, he's going to do it. Self-cannibalize. Discard and suffer one wound. During your turn, perform one free action. Hmm. And then for his first activation, because that was his blue ability, he is going to attack... That guard, because he's only one zone away, right? Yeah, because yeah. you have range, right? Yeah. Okay. So, three dice for tentacles, two dice for hunger, and it hits on fours. Nice. You're not using any cards either? Nope. Okay. Hunger goes up. Ooh, now you're ravenous. Yep. But you got the guard. Nice. So now that that happened and that got them, it got him into ravenous, I'm going to use resist hunger, which discard during your turn, decrease hunger by one, to put his hunger back down at three. Nice. Okay. And I'm also going to use the horde. What's that? To activate all friendly minions in your zone. Oh, nice. And I'm going to move. The two minions that are in my zone forward because there's oh there's a, there's one behind the tree there's three there there's three oh yeah okay yeah. I'm gonna move the three of them forward. forward and then you get free XP too yep so I'm gonna move towards Gwen Stacy and devour her I can do that oh it's gonna take you one extra activation you don't have slippery or anything like Green Goblin right? oh no so yeah I might not be able to get that far but I want to move in that direction so one What's... to get away from him two to go next to him and then three should put me in the zone with one Stacy. Okay. So you're moving to the right. Yes. Okay. And then up one. Okay. So you move over there and then that's everybody? Yep. So it'll be your turn next. So now we do the minion phase. So we'll move everybody up and see where they lay. Okay. And I don't know if we mentioned that too. The bystanders don't move in this one. They stay where they are. If no one's aiding them, they just stick to the zone they're in. Right. And we moved off yours. You got five off the board, so you got five points. So you're at what now? I'm at 16 now. Nice. So you got more guys on the table, but I didn't get anyone off the board, so I'm still at 20, and you're at... 16. 
So now who holds the objectives? I got that one, so I get three points. You got that one, so you get three points. Yep. And then, oh, I didn't even, and you got that one. You got a whole bunch there. Oh, they and those minions moved up, right? I oh, yeah. moved them up into the subway. Yeah. So you got six points and I got three. So after two rounds, I'm at 23. And I'm at 22. So it's still close. Yep. I think me having Green Goblin over here here is going to help, though. And then it's your turn first, though, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, but we still have to do spawning. Yes. So let's spawn off your guys first. So from the green spawn. Three walkers. Uh, you in yellow? yellow? Yes. Okay, yeah. Doc so. Ock is in yellow. Okay. And then four runners. And that's from that red one. Okay. From the far one over there. One brute. And then from the trees over there. Six walker. Rush. Oh, that's going to run off the board too. Ah, okay. And then... In front of homicidal swarm of place. Oh, not a, okay. That was another rush that would suck. Six walkers. Okay. And then we, do we have one more? No, nope, because there's a blue spawn over there, but you don't spawn up my spawn. Right. Okay, so let's put on yours, and then we'll. You're gonna get another six points too. So those ones ran off the table there in the corner with your rush, and how many points do you have now? Twenty-eight. Well, so now you're in first. Okay. And then that's where everything spawned for you. And then we'll do my spawns. So for my blue spawner, ah, I want the rushes at the edge. Okay. Card rush. In front of homicidal. Homicidal. Another. Oh, I want those at the end. Okay. Card rush. So the order does make a difference, right? Those could have ran off the board, but no, they're in the back line. Yeah. The tree over by Doc Ock. Specialist. Okay. Now not the green spawner there. Now over by Subway over here. Oh, okay, these are the ones you want rushes on. And then the last one there by Green Goblin. Come on, rush. Specialist. And then you want you want the specialists in your back line because they can move forward, and you want the rushes in the front. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put those on the board, and then it will be your turn. So I didn't get any off the board, but I spawned. Got Green Goblin over there. Hopefully he'll be able to push guys forward. I'm at 23, and you're at... I'm at 28. And you get to go first. Yep. So I got my two cards. That's going to come in handy. And these are my two cards. And my leftover card from the last time. All right, so I'm going to activate Doc Ock. His hunger goes up by one, which means that he's ravenous. So for his first activation, he's going to devour Gwen Stacy. And you don't got to roll dice in this, too. Nope. So his hunger goes to zero. But it still costs an activation. Yes. So he gets... And what does she do? Um, each time you draw a zombie trait, increase or decrease your hunger by one, which is good because his blue ability is... Oh, that, yeah, that will combo with him pretty good. Yeah, so she's gone. For his second and third activation, he's going to move in front of Homicidal. Okay. So now that he's moved, he's going to use his blue ability once during your turn. You or another zombie hero within range two may draw one zombie trait. Okay. So, actually, I think he's going to give that to, he's going to give drawing the zombie trait to Lizard, because he's within range two. Yep. So, Lizard's going to draw Undead Range. Discard range? Sorry, range? Undead Rage. <laughs> Blah, I can't read today. Discard and increase your hunger by any amount when enemies enter your zone, immediately perform one free attack targeting your zone. Ooh, that's pretty good. Cool. But... Because of Gwen Stacy now, each time you draw a zombie trait, increase or decrease your hunger by You one. didn't draw one. He did, so I can't do it then. Yeah, But that's okay, I don't need it anyway. Okay. Because for his last act activation, he's going to do the thing that Green Goblin did. Okay. And he's going to pick... I'm calling them walkers, right? He's going to pick all the walkers. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you're going to do it to me. Okay. Yeah. So we'll move everything up and see how many points he scored. Yeah. So we forgot at the end... When we did spawning too, we were supposed to put walkers in those zones. So your walkers from there moved up, and I put my troopers the back line too. Yes. And you scored from moving forward. How many guys? It was another six points, so I'm at 34. Oh, oh you're close. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a good round for you. So that was Dr. Octopus's turn. Oh, man. 
and there's no door on the side there. There's only on the front, and I'd have to go down one. I can't shoot out the side there with Cyclops, because there's a wall there. I have to go up one and outside to shoot at those walkers. Okay. So, now it's over to me. So, I debate Green Goblin. Yep. Power goes up, so he's at two. Uh, I am going to do what you just did, and I'm going to pick runners for my team. So I'll spend an activation, and all runners are going to move forward. Okay. So they get their two activations, not one. They get to activate, which gives them two activations. Right. So I moved my runners up, and I scored four points, and then I got four more coming quick. Yeah. So I have two more activations. I'm going to spend two power and... Three dice to attack the runners in front of me. Okay. So fours. Oof. Nice, I got three of them. So I'm at six, so I still not in yellow yet. So that was my second activation. So I'm going to use to the rescue card. I spawn two guards in my zone. Okay. So they spawn in my zone, and because they're in the back line, I automatically get two points. Oh, cool. That works. Yep. So now I'm in yellow for the because of the card. Cool. So I have two more activations. Hmm. Oh, you got... No, those are my runners. So I was going to say, you got runners coming. No. I need to stay back here and he can go away. <laughs> I can't... Oh, I have to get Cyclops to get those. So I'm going to spend an activation to kill that runner. That's in front of me. Okay. So, three dice hitting on a four. Got it. So for his last activation, I'm just going to power him up. So he's at two power. All right. And he's done. And I'm at 29 now. And you're at 34, you said? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. So I'm going to activate Psylocke. I increased her hunger to three. Uh, her For the first thing she's going to do, I'm going to use her blue ability to eliminate one trooper or specialist within range one. So probably that one right there? Yep. So now that puts her in yellow. So she's got four activations. I'm going to use Senator Kelly's ability, which is once during your turn. Oh, maybe I'm not going to do that. Never mind, because I did forgot I had to increase hunger to do it. Oh, yeah, it would make you so, ravenous? No, I'm not going to do that. Um, but I am going to attack the two guards. Okay. So three dice for my hunger, two dice for psionic blades, and it hits on threes. Okay. Oh, that's a good roll for her. You killed two guards. Yep. So next I'm going to use one of my cards, which is called Brute Force, and I'm going to spawn two brutes in my zone. Nice. And you get free XP for that too. I'm going to get a zombie trait. Okay. For yeah, I keep forgetting to get those second. too. <laughs> yep. So, self cannibalize. Discard and suffer one wound during your turn. Perform one free action. Nice. So, two more. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to try it and see if I can. So I'm going to use Kel Senator Kelly's ability. Once during your turn, you may increase hunger to select one zone within range two. Activate all enemies in that zone. They try to reach your zone by any means available. So we'll see. I'm going to put my hunger up to four, and I'm going to use it to move these back with me. Ah, okay, yeah. That, that's a good play. Now I can't get the points for those. Yeah. Cool. So now I'm going to try to devour one of those troopers. Okay. So, four dice for my hunger, one dice for devour. And it hits on fours. Okay. And this one you can still only devour one, because you follow the rules of the book, right? Yeah. Unless you had the ability you if you could devour more. Right. So for her final activation, she's going to attack in that zone. Okay. So, two dice for psionic blades, hits on threes. Nice. So you're done? Yeah, that's Psylocke's turn. Okay, so over to me. So I'm going to activate Dr. Doom. Power goes up. And I'm going to attack the walkers in his zone. So there I get two dice. I'm going to use 
a power, I get three dice, hit on threes. I got two of them. So for his second activation, I'm going to attack that zone again. Okay. Two dice hitting on threes now. Got it. So I'm going to pick a hero trait. Focused. Discard before attacking, add plus one to dice results, and ignore target priority for this attack. Nice. And I'm just going to stay on that objective to get the three points in scoring, so he's done. All right. So I'm going to activate Lizard. His hunger goes up to three. Uh, the first thing he's going to do is his blue ability. Once during your turn, you may perform one free devour attack. This attack rolls only one die. No bonus is possible, scoring a number of hits equal to your hunger level if successful. Okay. <laughs> nice. So. Your hunger is three? Yeah, so it gets one. So you only get one of the guards. Yeah. So now I have three more activations to try to kill that guard. Okay. So Fangs and Claws is three dice, hits on fours. Got it. And your hunger goes up. So for his next activation, he's going to draw a zombie trait. Opportunist. Discard before attacking and increase hunger. Add uh, plus one to dice results for this attack. Okay. So that's basically like my version of focused. Yeah. Okay. And then I don't want to move and I don't have any range. So I'm going to forgo my last activation. Okay. So what is done? So I got Cyclops. So Cyclops' power goes up by one. I'm going to move towards Doc Ock. Where's the open door in the back of the room there? Okay. I'm going to power up for my second activation. All right. And for my third activation, I'm just going to shoot at Doc Ock. Okay. I'm probably going to be... I think you got it this turn, so... I'm not even going to be able to take him out. No, not enough dice. Okay, so I'm going to use that free power plus two from Optic Blast to do five dice. Hitting on freaks. So I did one wound to him. And that's it for my team. And you're done too? Yep. So now we do the minion phase. So we'll move. I, You got some over there to move up. And those over there. So we'll see. I think you got this with your points, but we'll do both of our turns and see. Okay. So after we moved all your guys up, you scored all those points there and you got the 43 already. Yep. So right now you won. I don't know if I'll be able to catch up. So we might not even have to do spawning or anything, but because I'm at 29. So I'll move up mine and see what I got to. Okay. So after I move stuff up, nothing went off the board. So I'm still, oh, some, but I'm at 34. Okay. Because those guys went off the board. So you won, because cool. there is still the spawn phase. Oh, no, because after the minion phase, there's a scoring phase, yeah. which is here. But you already got, even if we add the points, that you're already at 43, because I get three points there, you get three points there, and you get three points there. So you're still beating me there. Yeah. And then there would be the spawn phase. The only way I could come back is if I get rushes over here, but can work the same for you. If you get rushes, you can go off too. Right. And as soon as you hit 43... It would have ended the next phase anyway. You would have won. Yeah. So you got this game. Yeah. I think having that card that healed Psylocke helped. Yeah, I was trying because when I did the test game, Psy when I played, Psylocke moved up the Cyclops and killed them. So I wanted to pay back, but it didn't well, work I mean, out. Psylocke's, uh, Cyclops is shooting is pretty good. Hitting yeah. Is pretty good. And um, uh, having Senator Kelly that I could pull stuff. Yeah. Out of the zone. That was another thing. But that was fun though. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Um, like, I don't know if we said that previously. you got to be on, on the ball to make sure you know where everything's going. Yeah, that's why I moved the... When they're moving up, I moved them to the edge there. So my guys would go on that edge and you were there. Yeah, on the bigger sense. maps, especially with filming and trying to remember where guys move, we'll have to see when the next time we do this. I think the next one, I still it's a three versus three, but the map's a bit bigger. Okay. Yeah, making sure the different minions were pointing in the right direction was helpful too, I think. Yeah. So. Like I said, maybe we'll do a draft next time like we used to do. We'll do yeah. a random team. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Or if people want to pick a team for us and see which team goes against what. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting too. So let us know in the comments if you if you have ones that you want to see in PvP. That was fun. 
I was mm. curious about how they were going to do it. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think they went about it in a cool way. So mm. I like it. But uh, thanks for coming out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See ya.